So here we have the GTEP ventilator. The main components are a resuscitation bag. This will be piped to the patient. Uh, the patient needs to be quite close to this because if there's a long tube, the oxygen can shuttle backwards and forwards and isn't effective. We're using a repurposed 100 milliliter syringe as a pneumatic ramp, which is mounted in a frame with some springs. And here we've got a little valve block and a sprung throwover. Now the first thing that we do is we set a constant pressure. We're running this at 0.2 millipascals. We've set these stops for a stroke of around about 80 milliliters. So these two controls are for the breath in and the breath out. They can each be set individually. So for instance, if you want it to cycle a bit faster, we can increase the expiration. This control here is the level of uh, oxygen that's delivered. You can go up to 100% oxygen if you want to. So a key part of the design was this little valve block. It's two port, one breath in and one for breath out, and it's switched over by a spring mechanism, which we'll have a look at. So the importance of this spring is that once it reaches a critical point, it finishes the stroke and throws over to switch the valve. If you don't have a sprung mechanism, then these things will hit the valve, it'll start to break the seal and then the whole system will stall. So this spring over mechanism is quite important. 